The northeast shores of Assateague Island near Ocean City, Maryland, erode naturally from constant pounding of waves. This barrier island is not only a popular recreation area, but is home to various endangered plant and wildlife species, including the well-known Assateague ponies. To help reduce erosion, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has a vessel that's so unique that it can place dredge material in the surf at a pinpoint location to replace the eroded material. Studies have shown that material placed in less than 10 feet of water in a surf zone move predominantly toward the shore and well to the beach. The end result is a natural looking shoreline as opposed to an artificial look from pipeline dredging. The Currituck, which is home ported in Wilmington, North Carolina, is cost effective and is a good alternative for environmental projects like Assateague Island. It has one suction pipe on each side of the vessel and it can dredge 315 cubic yards of material. Because it's a split hull dredge, it eliminates the need for traditional pipeline dredging. The advantages of using this vessel are numerous. You'd have to have pipeline on the beach at all times. You'd have to have equipment on the beach at all times. We don't need that with the Kurtuck. Kurtuck goes out, gets a load of good sand, comes in and deposits it into the uh, uh, surf zone so it can naturally go down the beach. We don't have to have uh, any kind of equipment, heavy equipment and pipeline on the beach to disturb people or piping plover and other endangered species and critters that we have on Assateague Island. The Assateague Island project resembles a beach nourishment project, but it's a little different. Called sand bypassing, sand is trapped by jetties in the inlet at Ocean City. The Kuratuk takes sand from an ebb shoal, which accretes just outside the jetty. The Kuratuk also removes sand from Ocean City's navigation channel during the project, which means cost savings by not having to fund additional maintenance dredging of the channel. Through a partnership with the National Park Service, Kuratuk crew members can easily tell how the for a number of reasons. The island has thousands of visitors year-round, making it a high visibility destination. The Kuratuk draws little, if any, attention. It's very beneficial, especially with the high public use we have. Uh, they see the ship offshore, uh, it comes into the sandbar or to the intertidal zone. Uh, it's not noisy, uh, we don't have visible pipes, uh, and the public is totally ambiguous to the fact that we have sand bypass going on. Uh, they really just think it's some sort of work vessel out there, uh, not moving sand. If you'd like to learn more about the Kuratuk, go to www.saw.usace.army.mil forward slash nav.